the steam systems tend to be dynamic and improvement in one segment can have ripple effects in multiple yes. segments and each of these will also have a cost benefit associated with it. Absolutely. Many a times we tend to spend a lot of energy in terms of data assimilation. What are we trying to get out of the steam network? We are trying to get out three things I would say again. The first is to really look at a robust uptime. The second thing is to really look at a proper management of economics of the steam network. And third, you've been also trying to guide me towards the thought process that it is a dynamic world. So the flexibility of the steam systems to go beyond what we are doing today in the manufacturing plants. So if you look at these three factors, it is very crucial that we come back to the basics of what are the key performance indicators? How is it playing vis-a-vis -vis two things? One, what is the domain knowledge which we have about the steam system? And how are we looking at the dynamics of these parameters? How is it playing in terms of sustainability as a measure of effectiveness? And what do we have to do to go and invest ahead of time again to look at sustenance as a service. And if we start looking at this aspect that can I get into sustaining my parameters, then can we really have a robust step forward when you are looking at the expected flexibility and dynamics to meet the customer level challenges which we have from a production plan.